How you going? It's Lee from Outback Fencing here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to install one of our PVC fences. So what you want to do first is uh, run your string line along the length where you want the fence. Generally what I like to do is to run the string line to the bottom uh, rail of a full privacy fence or a semi-privacy fence. Uh, when you're doing a post and rail fence, uh, you can't really uh, do that. But um, yeah, so I like to run my string line and uh, make sure that that's all nice and level. Uh, and what we've got here as well, um, with all of our PVC fences, uh, the post and rail, full privacy and the semi-privacy, uh, it works out to be 2450 centres. So I've cut this rail at uh, 2450. Um, so basically what you do is lay this down and work out where your first post's gonna be. And I just like to use a bit of paint to mark out where the posts are going to go. And obviously if you've got two of these rails, you just keep continu uh, continuing along, uh, along the uh, length of the boundary to work out uh, you know, all your panel where your holes are going to go. Alright, so this is uh, our semi-privacy fence. When you buy a semi-privacy PVC panel, it comes in a box like this. You're going to have a top rail, a sturdy bottom rail with a piece of aluminium in it. You're going to have your uprights. Your longer uprights are going to be inside here. And then you're going to have your middle rail, which has your little slot holes in here. And then the ones for the, the two that come through. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to dig our holes. Now with a PVC fence, I generally say uh, a 250 by 250 or even 300 by 300 hole, uh, depending on how hardcore you want to go, um, and approximately 600 to 700 mil deep. Now I've got uh, some double-handed shovels here, they're pretty good. Uh, if you've got an auger, uh, a motorised auger, even better. Um, but yeah, so basically we're just going to dig these holes and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to uh, mark the posts um, to where that string line is that we've set out. So basically I've set that string line up to be the bottom of the rail. So if I measure that bottom rail there, it's 12.50. So I'm gonna put that onto the outside of the post. 12.50. I'll do that on both of them. And then these posts for the semi-privacy fencing are a little bit smaller. So these are approximately 100 mil, or 102 mil. So you probably want to half of that, 51. Now, I put a, a measurement in the center of this post um, because when we're spacing out the post with our spacer, we can line up that spacer with the center of the post. So then we can go center of the post, center of the post, so we know that the post is gonna be in the right position as well. All right, so we're going to put our first post in. This is our one-way post. Uh, as you can see, it's just got slot holes on the one side. So we're going to drop that in. Now, if you've filled this uh, hole up with concrete already, you can actually just sort of hold this like a pendulum and let it find its true level and just slide that in. Now, Now for the purpose of this installation video, uh, we're just gonna fill this up with dirt, but you must, to do it properly, fill it up with concrete. Uh, we're just filling it up with dirt because we've got a, um, a few panels that we've got to go through. So, um, right, so yeah, just get that in down to the string line, to that little mark that you've done. And uh, yeah, get that all nice and level. All right, now that you've put your first post in, what do you want, what do you want to do is, um, Get your spacer, which is 2450, set at 2450, and uh, <clears throat> you just want to line that up with that little texture mark that we've put on in the centre of the post. And we're going to line this up with the next post. So this one here, we've got our two-way post. Two-way post because you can continue on with the fencing, it's got slot holes on both sides. So again, to do the same process, just sort of hover that over the hole and slowly drop that into the concrete or if you're not feeling 
up to doing that. You can put this in the right spot, get it all level and get a friend or a family member to uh, pour concrete around your post. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. All right, so the next step, once you've put your two posts in, or you know, all of your posts in for your fence line, and you set that at the uh, string line height, uh, with that little mark that you've put on there to make sure all the posts are nice and level, and you've leveled the posts up so they're nice on the string line, you want to get the bottom rail, which has this sturdy aluminium rail, which just stops the sagging of the panel. Now, <clears throat> if you want to come in here, Zach, basically what you've got to do is get this first end in, <coughs> and just get that nice and neat in there. All right, so then you come to the other end here, and get that in there, and that end clips in there like that. Okay, so we've got the bottom rail in, and that's all clicked in nice and neat. Now, you wanna get your uh, little uprights, um, and, and just go along and click these down into the pole. Now, I just use my hand, you might wanna use a rubber mallet. Totally up to you. And then you just go along and pop these all in. Now, when you're going along, you wanna make sure that you don't put one in where the longer ones need to go. Okay, so we're about to put our middle rail in on top of all of these uh, little pickets that we've done. Now, I probably would suggest um, before you put these long ones in like we had before, because I can just prove, once they're clicked in, they can prove a little bit tricky to pull out. Um, you know, which is a good thing, you know, it's not gonna pop out. Um, so maybe instead, probably count to your sixth hole and just leave that one empty, because it's easier to put these in at the end. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop in our middle rail. Now, before you slot it into the post, you need to work on uh, putting these into each little hole. Right, that's the trickiest part of the job. When you're going along, you just wanna hit it down sort of firmly with your hand, um, just to be able to click in all those little um, uh, pickets. Now what you do is then you slide in the middle rail into the post, and then you come over to the other end, and you click that in also. And lastly, you put in your longer pickets. And just give them a bit of a tap down. Then what you wanna do, lastly, is put in your top rail. All right, well, there you have it. That's our semi-privacy PVC fencing installed. Um, lastly, but not least, you just put on the post caps, one of some of our slimline post caps or English style post caps. Um, and like I said, we, we didn't use concrete, but that's just for the purpose of this installation video. You must pour concrete into the hole to set your posts. I'd recommend obviously you post it one day, then the next day, the following day, put in your panels. Um, and you know, you'll know you notice that in this video, there was a fair bit of flex and movement in the post. You won't get that uh, if you concrete the post and leave it for a day. So there you have it. This is how you install a semi-privacy PVC fence.